Hi, my name is Samuel and we are here in the Zern Harvesting Merging Factory in the paint shop and we want to use the free time on the weekend to explain you some technical details about the ProfiCut Whole Crop Header. The ProfiCut Whole Crop Header for Class Jaguar choppers is available in working widths of 5.3 or 7 meters, respectively the ProfiCut 700. And considering ground speeds of up to 20 kilometers per hour, you can even use the biggest machines to their capacity. The ProfiCut was developed together with the latest generation of forage harvesters for direct cut of biomass, like the traditional crops like lucerne, like rye, wedge rye, but also more challenging crops like cup plant or sorghum millet. So let's first have a look at the interface to the Jaguar chopper. With the spring-loaded pendulum frame, you can adjust the whole header angle to match the respective tire wheel options on the chopper, but also different harvesting conditions. Simply adjust the angle by moving those two spindles left and right. The central gearbox is also part of the adaptive frame. There is an automatic coupling system, so when you lift off the header, the PTO shaft is automatically connected to the header. From the main gearbox, we move over to the right-hand side of the header, where we do have this three-speed gearbox on the auger drive. So you can adjust the auger speed, respectively the feeding speed, to different crop harvesting conditions, but also varying cutting lengths. When we now open the right-hand side door, we can see the massive auger drive. The automatic chain tensioner keeps the chain tension right even when reversing. To ensure a high wear life, this automatic lubrication system permanently adds some oil to the chain. While we are already talking about the auger, in the ProfiCut we got a massive 800mm auger with high order flights to handle even the large throughputs and feed them to the chopper even. A very important detail on the auger are the conical auger flights. This ensures an even feeding on the whole channel width even with large throughputs. For extreme crops and conditions you can fit additional paddles on the auger. They are now stored in the back of the header. From the auger we now move on to the mobile bar. In the ProfiCut, we have a Kuhn OptiDisc Elite mobile bar installed, which is one of the most sold mobile bars in the world. Let's focus on the crop flow first. So we do have these narrow gaps between the discs on the one hand side, and we do have the wide gaps on the other side. And this is the narrow part is where you actually cut while you feed the crops through the large gaps over the stainless steel floor into the auger. Of course, there is a, an overload breakaway system for every individual disc, but also a nice quick change system. So there's this lever, which you can simply push in behind the knife, pull it down to release the blade. The Kuhn mower bar is lubricated for a lifetime and has very little play between the individual discs. So we can synchronize the two bars perfectly, have the drives outside where they don't disturb the crop flow without having any risk of collisions in the center. Okay, now let's follow the mower bar drive line back to the main gearbox. Here on the left hand side, we do have the four groove power band with automatic belt tensioner to transfer the high power which is needed for the two mower bars. Following the bottom drive shaft of the mower bar, we do have this overload clutch and then another PTO shaft going to the central main gearbox. After having this walk around the whole header with all important main functions, we want to show you some more features and options, like for example, this operating hour meter. Also, we didn't talk about this front deflector yet. The function, I think, is clear, so it pushes the crop forward and allows the knife to cut it so that the auger can pull it in smoothly. 
Alternatively to this tube, we can also install a roller system, like a passive roller, to push the crop forward but not hinder the crop flow, which is especially helpful in tangled crops like cup plant, for example. So you get a smooth crop flow also with those crops. The whole unit is height adjustable, so with hydraulic cylinders from the cabin, you can lift it to cut even three meter high crops. And a special detail is the curtain, which is not installed to the deflector, but to the header itself. So when you have the deflector all the way up, you still have the protection in front of the motor bar. As an option for the Profi Cut, we offer a side knife kit for the left and the right hand side. It's hydraulically driven with the motor on the top, installed with quick locks only. So you can quickly attach it and the whole unit is protected with a breakaway system. So when you hit a foreign object, the whole knife can move away to the back. When you're not using the side knives, you can simply store them on the ProfiCut trader like that. So the same interface with the quick lock and even the place to store the hydraulic hoses. We have now made our way to the trailer. This is probably not always in the spotlight, but a crucial part of the flexibility when having to switch fields and attach or detach the header quite often. The first thing I want to point out about the trailer is the hydraulic lifting mechanism. So as you can see, we got a decent ground clearance with the trailer, but when you want to attach or detach the header, you can lower the trailer all the way to the ground. Another important feature on this trailer is the four-wheel steering. So this is very important when you want to go around narrow corners. And from this steering front axle, there is a master cylinder pushing the oil back to the rear axle, where then the wheels are hydraulically steered as well. When the header was loaded centric with this handy indicator, you can just lock it into place with this transfer lock. So it's just one lever clamping the motor bar and at the same time locking the rear transport lock. Okay, that's it. This was our ProfiCut plus trailer walk around video. If you enjoy watching this kind of video, please leave a comment, thumbs up, whatever. If you need any more information, feel free to approach us. We're always there. Thanks for watching.